So hello and welcome again to Thoughts from a Car. My name's Carl. Thanks for joining me. Find me today driving around sunny Niagara on the Lake, which is uh, home to some of Canada's finest vineyards and the source of a lot of the best wine in the country. It's a very expensive place to live. I don't think I can afford to drive through here. Uh, but it's beautiful. The weather today is down to a nice relaxing 32. It was 40 at the weekend, which is a little bit too much for me personally. Excuse me. And it's a beautiful place. Uh, home of the Shaw Festival, home of not much else I can think of really. Historic battles between the Americans and the Canadians. War of 1812 was fought in this region, although a little further south towards Ridgeway. <sighs> you can't get the stuff these days. These are the vineyards. I'll flip your camera around in a second. Vineyards, as far as the eye can see. Further in some guys. Hmm. Very relaxing. I want lunch. Didn't want to sit in the office. Didn't want to eat, really. I went and bought peas. There you go. Vineyards. Left, right, and center, all over the place. You can't spit around here without hitting one. Uh, this is true Mediterranean weather. It really is. I mean, if you go to Greece or my personal favourite, Ibiza, you're not going to get anywhere warmer than this. Main benefit is that I uh, speak English here, most of them. I love Greece. I love pretty much everywhere. This is also home to a lot of the, uh, obviously, grape pickers. Ship them in from wherever they come from, usually Mexico. Live on minimum wage for a couple of months and then head home. And comparatively, the money they make here will make them live like kings for six months. Which is good. But they're screwed for the other six months. That's why they tend to work away a lot more often than a couple of months a year. Still. Beautiful though this is. It gets very boring after a while. You must have noticed that. Anywho. What's been happening with me? Not a lot. At the weekend we had the uh, Port Colborne Lions Festival. Which was a really... Uh, some dude affair this year. It's a gala, a carnival, I should say. So we get all the um, all the rides. We get all the uh, people coming in from out of town. Fantastic fish and chips. A lot more fish and chips. Also uh, candy floss and the usual things. Got some good photos. Some of which you've done it with local newspaper. Um, Pretty much it. Saturday, I spent eight hours helping a buddy move house. Go through to Rondo and back in a U-Haul. He's got the bill this morning. Not going to be happy when they see that, but there you go. Not much you can do about it. Got a U-Haul. Oh, product store. I wonder if they've got some tomatoes. As discussed on previous podcasts. I have peas. These are good. <sighs> Ooh, that's not so good. Biodegradable. Which is good, you can throw them away and not to worry about the environment or choking a beaver. I 
think I may have mentioned this before, but this is the home to the Welland Canal. It goes between the two lakes, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And that's one of them. This is a bridge which the bane of our existence for the entire length of this whole thing. These things go up and down faster than a girl guides knickers. And uh, it's bloody irritating when you're the only bridge in town and it's up for a 45 minute stretch because the tanker's going real slow. Because you've got to sit there, you can't move. Well, no, you can go home. Uh, unless you're trying to get home, in which case you can go back to work. It's not much of an option, really. Point being, the bridges are the only way across the river. And if the river is taking priority because the Lakers are coming through it, then you've got nothing to do but sit and wait. Completely different laid-back style of life over here. I like that. No stress. Well, stress, yeah, but... You can choose whether you want to get stressed or not. That's the difference. You say, and I'll get stressed tomorrow. Today, I'm going fishing. It's kind of cool. Got a vacation coming up. Uh, Nikki and I are going to uh, Muskoka. We're going to go and hit the Three Mile Lake at Forest Rock. And we're going to sit back and chill. We've got a week. I'm taking the laptop because I need to be available. But I'm going to use it for other things. I'm going to hook up the camera. I'm going to hook up my graphics tablet. I'm going to sit and sketch. I'm going to have some, uh, some me time while Nikki sits there and has some her time. We're going to do the uh, fishing thing. So, well, she is. I don't fish. So she's going to fish. I'm going to draw. We're going to sit and chill back. We're going to rent a boat. We're going to go out in the lake and go swimming. Uh, get eaten by flies and have fun doing it. All good stuff. Roughing it in a log cabin. Excuse fingers. Roughing it in a log. Roughing it in a log cabin. I do have the power of speech. Anyway, it's uh, I to lower the camera there because please take a dim view of you using the phone for recording purposes, even if it's in a dash-mounted thing, because you're looking at the camera into the log. Actually, I don't know whether that's the case or not. I'm not going to find out if I can avoid it because it's just easier that way. Anywho, this is a residential part of St. Catharines. These are the kind of houses that we get over here. They're all wood framed. Don't use brick over here because the extremes of temperature. What happens is that the, uh, the foundations, the actual walls themselves, expand and contract with the heat and the cold in a way that brick couldn't accommodate. Brick would just crack. It's, uh, you know, it's the old tale of um, a reed bends in the wind and a, an oak tree snaps. So, uh, where in England everything would be made of brick, in Canada everything's made of wood because it's flexible. Oh, which is really interesting because you know all those films that you watch where you see cars going straight through the side of a house and out the other side? and you think, that's bullshit. It's not, because they are made of wood, and you can do that. I tried to explain that to some of my Canadian friends over here, and they're like, what are you talking about? Um, well, everything in England is made of brick. Yeah, so what? So if you drive a car at the side of a house, the house shrugs it off and goes, what do you do that for? Uh, and you're just left in a tiny little heap because when you hit a house in England, you know you've hit a house. When you hit a house here, you know you've hit a house. But it's usually in your rear view mirror. Doesn't make you want to live next to a road. Anyway. It does mean that they've got much more flexibility. The lots are bigger. The houses are nicer because they've got more space over here. It's a ridiculous amount of space they have. And of course, Tim Hortons is the... Uh, there you go. Tim Hortons is a place we tend to go for uh, snack foods. Coffees, teas. You've got McDonald's. It's the same kind of thing, but Canadian. 
Hmm. Anyway, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go now and finish off my lunch and probably take a nice cruise back to the office and wind up the rest of the day. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. It's been a blast as always. See you soon. My name's Carl. This was a Waste of Time production. I love this place.